Hey guys, I never haven't done a video in a while, but I'm excited to do this series. I'm not exactly in the kitchen cooking this time, but I'm doing something a little different. You know that one of the reasons I followed a ketogenic diet for almost six years is because it works to help me maintain my weight, control my weight. And the way that it works, the theory is that when you keep your blood glucose stable by eating high fat, moderate protein, and low carbohydrate, then the insulin levels lower and you're able to release the stored fat. And so one of the really important pieces of eating a ketogenic diet is keeping your blood glucose stable. And I've begun to wonder how well I'm doing with that. And people argue so much about how many carbs uh, per day should I eat? Um, how many per meal? Uh, should I have high protein, moderate protein? Folks are arguing that you should eat higher protein and lower fat if you actually want to be in the weight loss phase rather than maintaining. But then people who are insulin resistant often can't eat higher levels of protein. So one way to figure out for yourself how many carbohydrates you can eat, whether you can count net carbs or total carbs, or whether you can have higher levels of, levels of protein or not, is to monitor your blood glucose. So you can do that with a monitor with a finger stick. And I've done that before and testing before a meal and then at one hour and two hours post prandial right after the meals to see what happens to blood sugar. But it gets difficult to do that um, because just of the timing. And then you get all these little finger sticks and I'm a bit of a sissy, a bit of a baby when it comes to finger sticks. So I am excited that I have got a, con a CGM, a continuous glucose monitor. And the one I have is the Freestyle. Libre, Freestyle Libre, and I did have to get a prescription to get this. Um, I paid out of pocket. I didn't do it through insurance because I am not diabetic, but I wanted to test my blood glucose, and I thought wearing the CGM would be so much easier than doing a finger stick, and so I'm going to be doing this. This uh, is the Freestyle Libre 14, so I can wear it for up to 14 days. We'll see how long I last with this thing, and for this first, I have a couple of uh, prescriptions for these, so I can get them re um, renewed. <laughs> new fresh sensors but um, I'm planning to do this for this at least the first week I'm going to eat the ketogenic diet just like I always have but I'm interested to see how my body is impacted by uh, either higher levels of veggie carbs I'm interested to see what dairy might be doing to my blood glucose or even coffee because we know that the caffeine and coffee can raise blood sugar so I'm not measuring insulin because you have to do that in a lab but blood glucose is often a proxy for insulin so I'm doing this this just to see if what I've been doing with the ketogenic diet, if there are any surprises, and I think there may be, but I thought I would have you guys join me as I get started, um, and I'll show you even how I'm going to install this. Now, I've never used a CGM like this before. I've never installed one. I've watched a couple videos on how to do it, and I've read the instructions, so we're going to see how this works. Um, I'm a bit nervous. I'm not a needle kind of person. And I actually had asked David to do it for me, my husband, um, to do it for me. I'm going to try and do it myself. I may have to holler for him. He's close by. He knows what a baby I am when it comes to these things. But apparently you want to install it on the back of your arm. And so you have a little alcohol prep. And so I'm going to clean my arm. Um, and of course, I'm looking at this going, well, the arm looks big. <laughs> okay. And so this is the sensor. And you are supposed to peel this off okay so you peel this off and this is what it looks like inside and you peel that off and then you have a little thing to apply it to your arm so I've already broken the seal you take this off put the cap away um, okay that's what it looks like inside I think there's a needle in there but I don't want to see the needle Actually, I don't see a needle that I thought I would see. Okay, so let's put this on here. Oh, you have to line it up. You line up this guy and this guy, and then it says to put it on a flat surface. So you just click it down, and you can see I clicked it down. I'll take this off, and there's the big needle, and there's what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is use my left hand to put this on the back of my right arm and I am nervous about this I understand that it doesn't hurt um, I've been told it doesn't hurt that um, yeah so we're gonna take a deep breath and hopefully I've got this on the, my back of the back of my arm 
in a good place. Um, and one, two, three. Ah, that's it. That didn't hurt. That didn't hurt. I'm not even going to pass out thinking about the needle. And then you just take your finger and run around it and it's stuck. You want to make sure that it's on there and that's it. That's all you do. Now, apparently, um, so I had the app. I didn't get the reader. I got the app for my iPhone and apparently it takes an hour or so. Um, I've installed the app already. So I am going to, um, scan the new sensor, but apparently it won't be ready for a while, but you do this, maybe. So it's ready to scan. Hold the top of your iPhone near the sensor. Huh? There, I heard it click. Did you hear it click? And the sensor will be ready at 6.47 p.m. So it takes an hour to get calibrated and to get working. Now, ideally, I would be um, testing my blood sugar and testing this within the first 12 hours just to calibrate them and make sure that what I'm using with my finger stick is uh, going to work with this. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next week. I won't be doing a YouTube video every single day, but um, now that I've got the new sensor on, I'll be doing them, you know, every day or two, I'll be sharing with you what I'm learning from this, what um, is happening when I've eaten certain meals. And I have, like I said, 10 refills of this, and I'm, I will hope to do a lot with this. I hope to try higher levels of, levels of protein. Um, you know, I'm a huge proponent of eating clean keto and paying attention to ingredients, and I want what would happen if I wasn't so careful with that? What might happen if I had a diet soda <laughs> or something? Um, what happens with too much dairy or too much protein? So I hope that this is going to be a useful tool for me. I'm sharing it not because I think that you, that this, what happens for me will be true for you, but I'm sharing it to show you how I'm trying to troubleshoot my diet and how what you might be able to learn if you're able to do this as well. So I hope that you'll join me for this little two-week experiment, and again, hopefully this will turn into a much longer thing as I try different um, things to see how it impacts my body, and if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get notifications when I upload something new. So if you hit the subscribe, you just put in an email address, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and then you won't miss my emails on doing this. So I'm kind of excited. I won't lie, it was a bit of an ouch, I was a little shocked, I was a little scared, um, but I, and I'm conscious of it being there. We'll see how it does, like just at night or in the shower with clothes. Um, but anyway, it really wasn't a horrible thing to install. And I'm very much looking forward to sharing what I learned with you guys.